Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is October 3rd, 2024, and I have great news as far as Barcelona's injured players. Also, when will Wojciech Stensny be ready to start with the first team? We're gonna discuss that. And finally, Barcelona are currently working on the contract extension of Gerard Martin. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Welcome to the channel, my name is Mo, and before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. All of this helps the channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure to hit the Goal Kids, Kid Bag, or Fanatics. And if you are looking to place any sports bets, make sure to hit the Bad Us. All links are down below in the description. Now, I begin this video with bad news, and this bad news is concerning the damned FIFA international break, because Luis De La Fuente has released his pre-list of players he's planning to call up for this upcoming international break and it's not looking good now the spanish national team's coach has called up the usual names that he always calls up such as lamin yamal pedri and ferran torres which right there that's already bad news because pedri and lamin who have been absolutely exceptional with barcelona will have to participate in this international break but that's not the bad news because that was of course expected but there's more bad news because Luis de la Fuente has called up even more players that he hadn't called up in the last international break is starting with Alejandro Valde who has been rotated a lot by Flick because of course he just came back from a serious injury but yet Luis de la Fuente doesn't care he's called him up and also Luis de la Fuente has called up Inigo Martinez who's been doing exceptionally well with Barcelona, who has played every single match with Barcelona except the one against Osasuna. And finally, Marc Casado. Now, it seems in the case of Marc Casado, he is for sure going, because again, this is the pre-list, not only make it to the actual call-up, but Marc Casado, they're saying he will go to the international break no matter what. If he doesn't get called up to the first team, he will get called up to the under-21 team. So either way, some of our best and most important players will be participating in this garbage, made up, and bullshit of a competition called the UEFA Nations League. Because again, UEFA and FIFA, of course, prioritizing their profits, their pockets, over the health and longevity of the players. Because what the F is the UEFA Nations League? What kind of garbage is that? Why the hell was that BS of a competition made up? No other reason than to line the pockets of UEFA and FIFA at the expense of the health of the players. And I gotta tell you, I'm getting very sick and tired of this. Now I understand the Euros, the World Cup, that's fine. It happens in the summer, only a few years. World Cup qualifiers, okay, that's important. But what the hell is the UEFA Nations League? And why do our best players have to go there time and time again and get injured over some BS made up trophy? I'm getting sick and tired of that now speaking of the fifa international break we do have some good news because ladies and gentlemen frankie de Jong has not been called up by the netherlands now frankie de Jong has been recovering for an incredibly long injury after he injured his ankle three times last season he saw a few minutes or i would say i think it was 15 minutes in the champions league against young boys however of course he's not a hundred percent back into competitive rhythm and it's reported that Barcelona will be taking advantage of this FIFA international break to bring Frankie back up to speed, to put him back at 100% and back in competitive rhythm in preparation for, of course, the difficult matches that will follow this international break where we're going to be playing Bayern Munich in the Champions League and right a few days after that, Real Madrid in El Clasico. Now, Barcelona have already devised a special plan for Frankie de Jong, a special recovery plan that the Dutch midfielder will be following through the entire international break. That way, once the break is over, Frankie will be 100% ready to start and 100% ready to help the team ahead of those very difficult matches. Now, the FIFA international break will now also be beneficial for Frankie de Jong. It will also be beneficial for Dani Olmo. Barcelona will also be taking advantage of this break in order to bring Dani Olmo back to speed. Now Olmo was injured in the match against Girona where he was brought out at an 
hour mark. It was initially thought that it was just, you know, some exhaustion or some simple injury, but after conducting extensive medical exams, it was revealed that Dani Olmo had suffered an injury in his right thigh to his femoral bicep, and as such, he was ruled out for four to five weeks, and it's reported that Dani Olmo so far has been doing magnificently well in his recovery. He's made significant progress, and they're saying that the FIFA international break will actually play in his favor because Barcelona have, again, just like Frankie, devised a specialized plan just for Dani Olmo, where Dani Olmo will be following through those two weeks of the international break. And that way, by the time we have to face Bayern Munich and Real Madrid, it's reported that Dani Olmo will be 100% back and ready to help Barcelona against those difficult matches ahead of time. Now, speaking of being ready, being fit, we do have to talk about our most recent signing, Wojciech Stensny, and when will he be available? Now, the Polish goalkeeper was recently announced as Barcelona's newest signing. Actually, it was yesterday. I made a special video about him, and of course, we did find out in his statements during his presentation or semi-presentation that he had actually hired his own trainer to help him out start getting back in fitness where he trained for a whole week in Poland in two more weeks in Marbella so he has arrived with three weeks of training but of course three weeks is still not enough he needs to more training in order to get back into top shape and be ready to compete at the highest level and it's reported that Wojciech Stensny has so far been training on his own however tomorrow Friday October 4th Wojciech Stensny will be joining the group so that's actually pretty good news because remember, group training is some of the final stage of any recovery or any getting back into shape. So it looks like Stenzen might be more ready than we initially thought, which of course is great news. However, he won't be participating in this week's match, of course, that's too soon. But just like Frankie and just like Olmo, Barcelona will be taking advantage of the FIFA international break to get Stenzen back up to speed. Who knows, we might see him start getting some minutes after that international break. So I guess after all, the international break will not be completely bad to us as Barcelona will be taking advantage of that break to bring Frankie, Olmo, and Stensney up to speed so they can be ready for those difficult matches that will be coming after the break. Now, the final news, speaking of signings, since we just mentioned Wojciech Stensney, we do have to talk about Gerard Martin because Barcelona are reportedly already working on the extension of his contract now the 22 year old left back uh left back's contract expires in the summer of 2025 and of course barcelona would like to keep him because flick sees him as a crucial part of his plans and it was due to flick's influence that barcelona have decided to extend the contract of gerard martin and as such barcelona have already met with gerard martin's agents on several occasions in order to communicate to him that Barcelona would like to count on him and in order to negotiate his contract extension, where it's expected that Barcelona will offer Gerard Martin a four-year contract extension tying him to the club until 2029. Now, I know some of you have been unhappy with Gerard Martin, especially in his performance against Osasuna, but just like Sergi Dominguez, I would like to remind you one thing, guys, is that players like Lamine Mal, like Pau Cuarci, like Marc Bernal, players who come straight from the academy at a young age into the first team and fit right away, those are not the rule. Those are the exception. Those are the rare exceptions where you see teenagers coming from the academy straight into the first team and absolutely killing it. Most players, it takes some time. It takes some time to adapt. It takes some time to learn. It takes some time to grow. So, Gerard Martin, Sergio Dominguez, they're not bad players because they have performances, bad performances against Osasuna. They simply need more time to get used to the speed and the level of first division. Because again, players fitting in right away into the first team straight from the academy, that's not the rule. That's the exception. Anyways, that is all the news for this video. I did upload another video a few moments ago, so make sure to check it out. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. And as always, bis cabarsa.